Whatever your safari interests, the majestic African continent has something for you. Africa is endowed with breathtaking landscapes. During a safari trip, you will be presented with stunning landscapes and amazing cultures, and you will be able to observe and enjoy nature in all its splendor everywhere you go. It would be an understatement to say that Africa will take your breath away. Given its size, it is not surprising that many tourists from over the world go on safari and view its enormous plains, deserts, and grasslands. Safaris in Africa provide you with the chance to see wildlife in its native habitat. The best safaris in Africa promise a once-in-a-lifetime experience, especially for those hoping to see the animals like the leopard, lion, rhinoceros, African buffalo, and elephant, all fondly dubbed the Big Five. It can be intimidating because there are so many options available. We've put together a list of our top African safaris to assist you in making the right decision. Welcome to the new tourist channel, where we give you important information about Africa. Let us know which of these places you'll love to visit as we go through them. 25. The Faro National Park Cameroon We begin our list in the country dubbed Africa in miniature. The Faro National Park is a sizable area of gently sloping Sudanese grassland at a height of 250 to 500 meters. It extends 3,300 square kilometers. Its eastern side is bordered by hunting reserves, while its western border with Nigeria. A few rocky hills reach a height of 700 to 1,000 meters. The Faro River in the northeast and the Dao along the west, which empties into the Faro in the far north, encircle the park. Both rivers are broad, sandy, and permanent. Tall Isoberlinia woodland is found in the south, shorter, more open mixed woodland or wooded grassland is found in the north, and the dry deciduous riparian forest is found in the southwest. It is home to cheetahs, black rhinoceros, elephants, and is known for its colonies of hippopotamuses. 24. Northern Damaraland, Namibia Despite the remoteness of northern Damaraland, you can still find safari lodges that will suit your needs and that are perfect for experienced travelers. Demonstrating perfectly the dramatic contrast that draws people to Namibia, Damaraland is a place of barren plains, petrified forests, flat-topped mountains, ancient valleys, and rocky outcrops. A wilderness that not only entices with its scenic beauty, but also contains desert-adapted wildlife, and one of the few places where Africa's magnificent wildlife can be seen successfully coexisting with rural farms and villages. If you visit this safari, make sure not to miss the famous rock art at Twyfelfontein, another UNESCO World Heritage Site. Northern Damaraland up to the Honib River has the greatest concentration of game. The terrain rumples into grassy hills dotted with mopane and acacia trees as you travel northeast over the plateau towards Etosha National Park. Northern Demaraland rises to the Etendeka Plateau, and the ground becomes more vegetated as you move northeast towards Etosha National Park. The main attractions are the private concessions that adjoin the Great Park, and here is where you will find that classic African safari with a Namibian edge. In northern Damaraland, you'll also get the chance to see the world's only naturally occurring population of black rhinos that peacefully coexist with the Damara communities. Other endemic species that thrive in the region include desert-adapted elephants, black-faced impala, Damara dik dik, and Hartman's mountain zebra, as do several endemic species of birds, including Rapal's korhan, Herero chat, Montero's hornbill, bear-cheeked babbler, Carp's Tit, and Hartlob's Franklin. 23. The Banue National Park, Cameroon. Found in the northern region of Cameroon, the Banue National Park is a cradle of conservation of wild flora and fauna. This park was first established as a faunal reserve in 1932. It was upgraded to national park status in 1968, and in 1981, it became a biosphere reserve. Its habitat is in the Benua Savannah Belt, a humid savanna woodland area. The park encompasses an area of 180,000 hectares in size and has a wide frontage to the Benue River. The main river flowing through the park is the Benue River, which stretches for over 100 kilometers, forming the eastern boundary. 
The park's altitude ranges from 250 to 760 above sea level. The higher elevations are characterized by large rocky massifs, while the undulating plain and forest characterize the lower sections. Eight hunting reserves, totaling 520,000, 378 hectares, surround the park except along the main road. Access to the park from the north is from Gounderay. Wildlife reported from the park consists of elephants, spotted hyena, waterbuck, warthog, monkeys, large ungulates such as antelope, the Derby eland, Africa's largest antelope, cob, western hartbeast, Lord Derby's eland, waterbuck, and buffalo. The African wild dog is also present here. The hippopotamus colonies and crocodiles are common in the rivers. As an important bird area, according to recent surveys, 306 species have been identified. In the dry season, sandbars exposed to fluctuating levels of the Sandy Benue River provide habitat for plovers and other water birds. 22. The Katavi National Park, Tanzania Katavi is a safari enthusiast park that is situated in Tanzania's far west. The Katavi National Park is a must-visit if viewing vast herds of buffalo is high on your list of priorities. But those who take the time and expense to get here will not be disappointed. Katavi is truly magnificent. This vast park is renowned for having a significant buffalo population. One of Tanzania's largest national parks, Katavi National Park is less visited than other safari destinations while being a safari magnet for visitors looking to view wildlife. A few of the camps provide walking safaris, while Nomad Tanzania's Chata Camp offers outstanding quick-fly camping adventures with nights spent outside under the stars. On a wildlife drive, lion prides can occasionally be seen more frequently than human beings. Elephants, giraffes, hippos, and zebras are some creatures that you have a very good chance of seeing. 21. The Near Rere National Park, Tanzania the Nier Rere National Park, formerly called Seliskane Reserve, is found in Tanzania. It was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1982 thanks to its diverse wildlife, including the African bush elephant, African lion, hippopotamus, East African wild dog, and the black rhino. There is no permanent human habitation in the park, and all human entry is controlled by the Tanzanian Ministry of Natural Resources and Tourism's Wildlife Division. When you visit this park, you can expect to see crocodiles and hippos during your boat safari. There are also many species of birds here for avid bird watchers, so bring your binoculars. 20. The Central Kalahari Game Reserve, Botswana. The Central Kalahari Game Reserve is one of the most popular game reserves in Botswana. It was established in 1961 as a home for the Bushman tribes. It covers an area of 52,800 square kilometers, which is over 10% of the country's area. This expansive space of land makes it the second largest game reserve globally. The magnificent expanse of the Central Kalahari Game Reserve is a not-to-be-missed attraction when embarking on a Botswana safari. This is the largest, most remotely situated reserve in southern Africa, offering almost exclusive wildlife sightings. After the wet season, the reserve becomes a hive of activity for large herds of plains game, such as springbok and gemsbok. Visitors will also be treated to wonderful sightings of wildebeest, hartbeest, eland, giraffe, cheetah, and the legendary black-maned lion. During the drier months, the central Kalahari reveals wide, desolate pans, which offer exceptional photographic opportunities. The reserve is well known for providing awe-inspiring stargazing experiences, as well as for its most notable attractions, such as Deception Valley, the Sunday and Leopard Pans, Passage Valley, and Piper's Pan. This game reserve is a great option for those who want to see the Big Five. You'll probably see a few wild dogs as well. The reserve is also home to an amazing variety of bird species. 19. Ruaha National Park, Tanzania This Tanzanian park was proclaimed a national park in 1964. The addition of the Usangu Game Reserve and other important wetlands to the park in 2008 increased its size to about 20,226 square kilometers. The park is a part of the 45,000 square kilometers Rungwa Kizigo Miisi ecosystem, which includes the Rungwa Game Reserve, 
the Kizigo and Muisi Game Reserves, and the Mbamipa Wildlife Management Area. The name of the park is derived from the Great Ruaha River, which flows along its southeastern margin and is the focus of game viewing. This off-the-beaten-track destination takes its name from the he word for river, which serves as its lifeline. It is home to impalas, waterbucks, and gazelles. You may even see lions, cheetahs, hyenas, and jackals looking for prey. This safari is a great option to see large predators, because it is home to 10% of Africa's lions. It's also home to many bird species, such as the crested barbet, the pale-billed hornbill, the Dickinson's kestrel, and the racket-tailed roller. All of these incredible features make this park one to add to the travel list. 18. The Waza National Park Cameroon The Waza National Park covers an area of 170,000 hectares or 420,000 acres and was established as a park in 1968 in the far north province of Cameroon. It was established as the Waza Reserve on 24 March 1934, initially covering an area of 155,000 hectares, which was extended in 1935 to cover 165,000 hectares. It is reported to be one of the best parks in the Francophone countries of Africa. UNESCO inscribed it as a biosphere in 1982 and for its preservation and conservation. A management master plan was drawn up in 1997. The park's habitat is mainly in arid climatic conditions, with average annual precipitation of 700 mm and a mean annual temperature of 28 degrees Celsius. With this setting, the vegetation types which cover the park are categorized under five broad types, namely open shrub savanna, woodlands, open grass savanna, tree savanna, and floodplains with perennial grasses. In the desert conditions with now streams flowing through the park area, there are no perennial grasses in the park. The faunal species reported from the park are giraffe, elephant, aardvark, warthog, hyena, lion, red-fronted gazelle, waterbuck, cob, topi, roan antelope, impala, vervet monkey, patas monkey, olive baboon, leopard, and cheetah. Avifauna reported are also substantial, and some of the important species are the ostrich, ground hornbill, battler, white-faced tree duck, Abyssinian Roller, Standard Winged Nightjar, and Kinney Fowl. 17. The Tswalu Kalahari, South Africa Tswalu is South Africa's largest private game reserve, covering an area of over 100,000 hectares. It is entirely exclusive and belongs only to the Tswalu accommodations on this expansive property. This is an immaculate luxury, and when the phenomenal and unique game viewing of pangolin, aardvark, meerkat, cheetah, and brown hyena are combined with the opulent lodge and faultless service, it becomes one of Africa's most sought-after destinations. Swalu's Tarkuni homestead is the old Oppenheimer family's house, which has been transformed into a five-suite desert homestead. It emphasizes the natural surroundings in its detailed decor, with grand pieces that represent the textures and colors of the Kalahari region. Incorporating rock and wood, with rough textures and bold furniture, Tarkune is nothing less than striking. Swalu makes conservation its priority, with a vision to restore the Kalahari to its most spectacular self. There is ancient history in these hills, with some of the oldest Bushman rock paintings on earth. Nature is in a perfect balance, and every care is taken to enhance and protect it. Tswalu has superlative wildlife, offering sightings of some of South Africa's rarest and most extraordinary wildlife. Prepare to feel entirely spoilt by the expertise of the staff and guides, who go out of their way to make your Tswalu experience one desert adventure you will never forget. 16. The Lower Zambezi National Park, Zambia the Lower Zambezi National Park is one of the best safaris in Africa today, as it has recovered from poaching, although its rhino population was erased. The Lower Zambezi is home to various animals and birds, including the Big Five and several other species. There are also many bird species that you can find here, including blacksmith lapwings, southern ground hornbills, and African jacanus. The park's main feature is one of Africa's most famous rivers, the Zambezi. The northern boundary of the park is the Muchinga Escarpment, which forms an impressive backdrop to the river in the valley. 
Sandy flats, mopane woodland, and acacia shrubs fringe the waterways. Ladewood, figs, and ebonies are just some of the beautiful trees that dot the landscape. Excellent wildlife viewing with four of the big five present. The park also boasts excellent guides, great night drives, as well as walking and boat safaris. Short canoe excursions and canoe trips for several days are also possible. Keep in mind that you won't find any campsites in the area, just mid-range and luxury lodges, as well as tented camps. 15. The Lulu Game Reserve, South Africa The Lulu Game Reserve is located in South Africa, and it's one of the oldest reserves in the area. This reserve is the oldest proclaimed game reserve in Africa. The game reserve is best known for its amazing plants and wildlife. It is home to the Big Five and dozens of other mammals, reptiles, and birds. A highlight of this safari is the Flolu River, which is a popular spot for game viewing. There are plenty of animals in this 96,000 hectare reserve, and you can also visit the nearby McHugh's Game Reserve. For adventurers, make sure to ride 4x4 vehicles along its dusty roads. The park also offers boat safaris. Lulu Game Reserve is iconic for lovers of nature and conservationists, as it counts about 400 black rhinos, one of the most critically endangered species in the world. 14. South Luangwa National Park, Zambia Renowned as one of Africa's greatest wildlife sanctuaries, South Luangwa is home to an abundance of game, which frequents the Luangwa River and its Oxbow Lagoons. South Luangwa is also the birthplace of the walking safari, one of the best ways to get up close and personal with the park's pristine wilderness, which boasts 60 animal species and over 400 bird species. While out on the plains, visitors can view large herds of elephants, some up to 70 strong, and encounter the mighty buffalo. If you want to witness the wildlife, which includes endemic species such as Thornicroft's giraffe and Crochet zebra, this destination is the place for you. The park houses tons of beautiful tented camps, lodges, and other accommodations, which can get busy during peak seasons. If you want to see this park, be sure to plan and book in advance. This park is famous for its walking safaris led by expert guides. The best time to visit is from July to October during the dry season. This period is when animals come out from the high temperature bush areas to look for water in the rivers. The Luangwa River is the most intact river system in Africa and is the lifeblood of the park's 9,050 square kilometers. If you're enjoying this classification, Please show us some love by liking this video and sharing it with your peers. We also recommend that you leave a comment mentioning which of these destinations you visited or will love to visit. Finally, we will love for you to subscribe to our channel so as to encourage us to make more fascinating content like this. 13. The Lakipia Plateau, Kenya if you're the adventurous type, you'll love the Lakipia Plateau. The Lakipia Plateau is fast gaining recognition as a top Kenyan safari destination for its incredible density of wildlife, second only to the Masai Mara. It is an expansive plain home to plenty of wildlife, including grevy zebras, wild dogs, giraffes, and black rhinos. Located in the central highlands of Kenya, the plateau extends from the mount in the east to the rift valley in the west, the best way to explore this expansive piece of land is by riding on a camel, which is a fun way to see the vast plains. You can also explore the park by riding a horse or during guided walking sephoris. During the dry season, there's plenty of water that fills watering holes for animals to come and drink. This attraction makes this safari particularly interesting for photography enthusiasts who want to capture the animals in their natural habitat. Originally made up of privately owned cattle ranches, Lakipia is now a patchwork of land that is almost entirely privately or communally owned, either by the farmers or by the local Maasai and Samru communities, who together have created a sprawling conservation area, with most of the ranches operating as private game reserves. Because Lakipia is largely privately owned, there are fewer visitors and the usual stringent national park regulations do not apply, which means that visitors can experience a wider range of wildlife viewing activities and enjoy walking safaris, camel rides, and horse riding. 12. Moremi Game Reserve, Botswana 
If you're looking for an incredible game reserve in Botswana, then the Moremi Game Reserve is the best destination for you. It is part of the Okavango Delta, the world's 1,000th UNESCO World Heritage Site. Moremi Game Reserve has the most diverse habitat and animal populations in Botswana. The reserve contains about a quarter of the Okavango Delta and stretches across several thousand square kilometers, comprising a stunning landscape of forests, lagoons, floodplains, and islands. Game viewing is excellent year-round, and this game reserve is renowned for four of the big five, and you'll probably see plenty of them during your safari. It also houses more than 400 bird species. The best time to visit this game reserve is during the dry season, from June to September. You can also explore the wilderness on a Mokoro canoe safari or a walking safari. 11. Queen Elizabeth National Park, Uganda the so-called Queen Elizabeth National Park is located in Uganda and was originally called the Kazinga National Park. It's one of the most diverse parks in the country and is located near the famous Murchison Falls. The park is known for encompassing different landscapes, which are all home to various species of wildlife. These landscapes include mountains, swamps, crater lakes, tropical forests, open savannas, and wetlands. The park is home to elephants, buffaloes, giant forest hogs, and the African skimmer, which is a unique bird with a lengthy wingspan. The park also has boat cruises for those who want to see crocodiles and hippos. If you want to see chimpanzees, you can take a hike in the park's rainforest. The Murchison Falls National Park is located near the so-called Queen Elizabeth National Park. Murchison Falls National Park is a must-visit if you are planning a vacation to Uganda because it is well recognized for its magnificent waterfalls. It can be found on either side of the White Nile on the beaches of Lake Albert. Numerous creatures, including crocodiles, hippos, lions, giraffes, and buffaloes, are seen. The well-known Kabalega, or Kabariga cataracts, plunge 43 meters between the plateau and the basin. The months of June through August are ideal for visiting the park. Before we move on to the next, many Africans and Ugandans are wondering why the Queen Elizabeth National Park has not yet been renamed back to an indigenous name. The Ugandan government spokesperson, Afwano Opondo, on September 8, 2022, even suggested that the park be immediately renamed. Many Africans want the park to be called the Kazinga National Park as it was before. 10. The Okavango Delta, Botswana The Okavango Delta covers permanent marshlands, as well as seasonally flooded plains. The delta is a series of connected rivers and lakes, home to diverse wildlife, including cheetahs, crocodiles, lions, and black and white rhinoceros. It's one of the major interior delta systems that don't flow into the ocean, and its wetland system is almost unbroken. The Okavango Delta is also an excellent destination if you want to do bird sightings. You might get lucky and see some rare birds. If you're into photography, this safari will blow your mind away with its beauty. 9. And Beyond Sasa's Lee Desert Reserve, Namibia In the cradle of the Namib Desert, surrounded by endless dunes and rising desert hills, and beyond Sasa's Lee is one unrivaled retreat. Located in secrecy, just outside the Namib Nakluft National Park, guests can expect total exclusivity as they enjoy the indescribable vistas of ancient Namib. The cumin-colored dunes shift over the years, transforming the surroundings and changing the view from the ten magnificent stone and glass suites dotted along the edge of the escarpment. This desert is dramatic, yet simple, and it is just waiting to be explored. Immense silence fills the air, and peace is found at Sasasli, which is one of Namibia's most celebrated natural areas. Over the dunes and the emptiness that seems to exist there lies Namibia's skeleton coast, which is known for its rough seas, dense mist, and history of shipwrecks. It is quite astonishing to imagine being in a place barren of water, and yet find the vast Atlantic Ocean along its west coast. At and beyond Sasa's Lee Desert Lodge, the emphasis is on the location, and the activities offer the opportunity for guests to discover and appreciate the unique surroundings. Quad biking in the dunes, guided nature walks, and game drives into the extensive wilderness, which is home to only the most successful desert-adapted species. 8. The Mala Mala Game Reserve, South Africa 
As one of the best safaris in Africa, Mala Mala Game Reserve is one of the best places to see lions in their natural habitat. Mala Mala borders the Kruger National Park, the largest game reserve in South Africa. The Big Five thrive in this private luxury game reserve, together with cheetahs, giraffes, and wild dogs. During the dry season, particularly during May, this is the ultimate spot to see a variety of animals, including wildebeests, hippos, hyenas, cheetahs, giraffes, zebras, and Cape wild dogs. This park is also considered a top destination for photographers. The terrain is different from the Kruger, as it's flat, making it perfect for game drives. You can spot the lions during the day while they rest in their dens or at night when they go to the watering holes. Another reason why Mala Mala Game Reserve is one of the best safaris in Africa is that you can also do bushwalks. Here, you will enjoy seeing the wild dogs and cheetahs up close. Night safaris are also safe and popular at this world-class park. 7. Mana Pools National Park, Zimbabwe Mana Pools National Park is one of the most picturesque safaris in Africa. It's known for its huge elephant population. This safari is also a great destination for adventurous people who want to spot leopards, wild dogs, and lions. One of the best appeals of this park is you can stay in unfenced campsites located in the middle of the wilderness. If you want to stay in this type of accommodation, choose one located near the Zambezi River for the ultimate experience. If you're up for something unique, go on a canoeing safari. Mana Pools is one of the few parks in Africa where you can explore without a guide, although this is not ideal for beginners. If you're up for game drives and bushwalks, this is an amazing safari. The thin vegetation of this park makes it one of the best destinations for walking safaris because it offers incredible visibility. For those who want to try self-drive tours, a 4x4 car is recommended. What's great about 4x4 tours is that even the drive is exhilarating. 6. The Ngorongoro Crater, Tanzania The Ngorongoro Crater and its conservation area, the area around the crater, is often one of the main reasons why our travelers choose to come to Tanzania. The drive to the crater is a breathtaking safari route. You travel in your comfortable 4x4 car through beautiful tropical jungles. Visiting the Ngorongoro Crater is of course part of the activities on most of our Tanzania tours. The first thing you will notice is the high density of the Ngorongoro Highlands. You will most likely be able to spot many beautiful animals here. Next, you will descend to the crater floor. Once in the crater, the view is incredible. The view is so beautiful that it is almost like a dream. You are surrounded by the most beautiful animals and nature. At the bottom of the crater, you will find the highest concentration of wildlife in Africa, including rhinoceroses. This is the best park to sight rhinos, hippopotamuses, lions, gazelles, zebras, antelopes, elephants, jackals, foxes, and wildebeests. On average, the lions are bigger here than in the rest of Africa. This is because the crater is rich in food, and the animals that live there can easily find food. This is why the Ngorongoro Crater has been designated as one of the Seven Wonders of Africa. The crater was originally a large volcano that erupted two million years ago. The Maasai tribe also live in the Ngorongoro Conservation Area. You will meet them in their traditional red costumes with their herds of goats. The Maasai tour, where you learn about the life of this tribe, is also highly recommended. Now to the top five. Five, Jack's Camp, Central Kalahari. Botswana. The Kalahari Basin falls within Botswana's borders, engulfing the country in its sandy semi-desert and salt pans, which transform into vegetated plains and vast lakes in the rainy season. Right on the edge of the Nwetwu Pan in the Makatagadi Pans region of northern Botswana lies Jack's Camp, a 1940s-style tented safari camp, reminiscent of the African expedition era and appearing like an oasis in the remote, unchartered Kalahari. The Makatagadi salt pans are ancient inland lakes, which have long since dried up and fossilized, creating these expansive pans and becoming world-renowned natural attractions. During the dry months of April to November, Jack's Camp offers the incredible experience of quad biking across the wide, open pans, dining out under the stars, and surrounded by absolutely nothing, 
While the rainy summer months bring about the famous annual migration of zebra and other wildlife across the grass-filled pans. All year round, the safari experience at Jack's Camp blends elements of local wildlife, culture, and geology to create a diverse and fascinating collection of activities for guests. Guided walks with the Kalahari Bushmen are unique to the area, while horse riding alongside wildlife is an unforgettable experience. Chapman's Bombab is definitely worth visiting, and the habituated family of wild meerkats is an exceptionally memorable element of a stay at Jack's camp. When it comes to the camp itself, the days of the great explorers come back to life with the use of draping curtains, four-poster beds, antique furniture, intricate wooden details, glass display cabinets, and the warm burgundy colors of the parachute-style tent. Jack's camp transports guests to a time, long ago, making the whole experience entirely otherworldly and indulgent. 4. The Masai Mara National Reserve, Kenya The Masai Forest is one of the most popular safari destinations in Africa. Situated in the southwest of Kenya in the Great Rift Valley and covering an area of 1,510 square kilometers, the Masai Mara National Reserve is a land of breathtaking vistas, abundant wildlife, and endless plains. This expansive wilderness hosts the Big Five, as well as a large population of cheetahs and wild dogs. The game drives are amazing here because the area is known for its high density of animal population. There are plenty of safari lodges in this national reserve, and people usually book months or even years in advance. The best time to visit the Masai Mara is from late June to early October. Midsummer can get busy though, so come at the beginning or end of that period for full-on wildlife without crazy crowds. If you want to see a few of the Big Five in their natural habitat, then the Masai Mara National Reserve is worth considering. Aside from animals, you'll also love its majestic rolling hills, acacia woodlands, and grasslands. Make sure to visit between August and October if you want to witness the majestic wildebeest migration in full flow that occurs annually as they cross to Kenya from Tanzania. 3. The Serengeti National Park, Tanzania The Serengeti National Park is dubbed the place where the land runs forever. As a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Serengeti is known for its annual migration of wildebeest and zebras, which travel to the Serengeti each year to give birth. In February, the plains in the southern section of this park become the birthplace for white-bearded wildebeest calves. The young calves that survive predators begin their journey that spans two countries and a million other wildebeest. It's a dramatic sight everybody should see at least once in their lifetime. You'll see antelope species and zebras caught in the migration. Lion sightings are also guaranteed, and if you're lucky, you may see a leopard or cheetah. At almost 3.2 million hectares, this protected area covers most of Tanzania's northwestern corner. It's 10 times bigger than the Maasai Mara. 2. The Kruger National Park, South Africa With all the wildlife that call Africa home, Kruger National Park in northeastern South Africa is home to all the continent's most famous species. If this is your first time safari, you don't want to miss the chance to see wildlife in their natural habitat, which is precisely what you'll find in the Kruger National Park. At over 7,500 square miles, this park is roughly the size of a small country. Known as one of the world's greatest game viewing areas, the Kruger National Park offers a truly unique experience. The best time to visit the Kruger National Park is the dry season from May to October for the best game viewing and walking safari conditions. Vegetation is low and sparse at this time of year, making animals easier to spot and track, while the permanent water sources offer a rewarding safari experience in the Kruger. Kruger is the park with the greatest diversity of wildlife in South Africa, and you could spend up to a week enjoying safari and nature walks here. A minimum of two days will give you a real taste of the park's stupendous wildlife viewing, but you'll want at least five days to truly appreciate its diversity. The Big Five thrive in this national park, but there are plenty of other animals to see, including cheetahs, hippos, Nile crocodiles, and the rare black rhino. The best time to visit this park is from June to September. 1. The Etosha National Park, Namibia 
And Atosha Safari is one of our all-time favorite wildlife experiences. Covering a hopping 20,000 square kilometers, Etosha National Park is home to about 114 species of mammals and 340 species of birds. Namibia may not be on the top list for most travelers in Africa, but once you've visited the Etosha National Park, you'll change your mind. It was proclaimed a national park in 1907. The park is named after the Ovambo word that means the place where no plants grow, an ode to the Utosha Pan, which is a part of a lake that is dried out. It's so large that you can see it from space. Itasha National Park is a four-hour drive north of Windhoek, the capital of Namibia and the gateway for most international flights. The driving is very easy as the road between Windhoek and Itosha is one of the few sealed roads in the country. Three to four days is the ideal amount of time to see Atosha National Park. To cover some different areas which to increase game viewing opportunities and to mix the styles of Atosha accommodation, we recommend that you lodge in one of its six beautiful camps. One of the best activities for safari goers in this national park is to stake out in a spring-fed waterhole and wait for animals to arrive. The Itosha National Park boasts a beautiful panorama of the Dolomite Hills and the arid savannas. This park is also renowned for the Big Five and its rhino conservation, both for the reintroduced white rhino and the indigenous black rhinoceros. At Itosha National Park, you'll also see cheetahs, caracals, jackals, and hyenas. That's it for our The Best Safari Destinations in Africa in 2022. Let us know what you think about this video in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Also like and share this video with your friends. See you in our next video.